Yo, what is up guys? I am going to be bringing you a video today on how to do basic berserker pre-awaken movement as well as awakening movement. In addition, I'm going to talk about how to properly cannon spam in both your Q buff while that is active and while it is not active. So the first thing that you need to make sure that you have before we start talking about these pre-awakened movements is make sure that you have evasion as well as ultimate evasion. If you do not have these two skills specced and this one is not unlocked, you will not be able to do these skills. So how the combo looks, it looks like this. Now this is our pre-awakened movement. It's very useful to get around at a very quick pace. And you can notice that it really doesn't use a whole lot of stamina. My bar is 76 still, and I just move from way over there. It's definitely quicker than running, and that's its primary use. So it, it none of it is protected, so I would not use this in a duel to like try to bait around and move around your target. The headbutt does have a slight CC on it, but it's not something that you'd be able to really follow up on. So here's how you do it. You can see my key combos right here. But it's going to be W right click F shift D. So W right click F shift D. W right click F shift D. And you just do that over and over again. So W right click F shift D. W right click F shift D. So it's going to take a lot of practice. I just suggest going into the battle arena, trying it out where you can just use normal battle arena potions like these. You don't have to use your normal ones. And yeah, basically that's the gist of it. An additional move you can add on to that at the end is Shake Off. So you can go W right click Shift F Shift D Shake Off. Now this is using a lot more stamina, but it is slightly faster of a mover. But you can see how over there we started and we've already drained our stamina quite significantly compared to the first combo. Um, typically that's going to be something if you're in a very big rush to escape like a mob of people, if you're in a node war, things like that, you may consider it. It is totally unprotected once again. Um, Shake Off, it does have a super armor every f 7 or, or every 6 or 5 seconds, something around that, so you may get a bit of a super armor luck streak if you happen to be using that off cooldown. But in general, uh, don't expect to not be immune to CCs during it. So the next thing we'll talk about is very very long distance travel here's what it's going to look like you're going to w right click shift f shift d and then you're going to go into lava piercer and then you will continue to w right click shift f and shift d until your lava piercer is back and then you can lava piercer again so whether or not you're using lava piercer on a hot bar or whether you're just hitting space bar and shift either one is appropriate and that's going to be your longest distance traveled without having to really use any stamina at all. Because by the time you finish your Lava Piercer, your stamina is completely back. So you'll notice I barely used any stamina. And I Lava Piercer, and I get all my stamina back. So you can virtually move forever doing that. Alright, so on to Awakening Movement. There's, real, there's really no way that you can move in, in your Awakening form without draining a whole ton of stamina. So the two common ways that you move around in Awakening uh, is your Shake Off, and you can cancel that two different ways. So what you're going to need for this section is you're going to want to make sure that you have your Flame Buster, and you make sure that it is on a hotkey. So I have it bound to my number one key, if you can kind of see that there, and I have a one key on my mouse. So what I'm going to be doing is holding W and tapping between my right key and my one key. So my right mouse button and my one key, and it just looks like this. So you can see after every single shake off, I tap my one key, and it sort of charges the flame buster a little bit. You can see it lighting up, but it doesn't actually shoot, but it cancels the shake off, so it's much quicker. The second thing you can do is you can hold left click and tap right click after every shake off. This is much slower, but it will not put your Flame Buster on cooldown while you're using it. So this is something I would opt to in Wars when I would want my Flame Buster to always be off of cooldown. And then I would opt to use my Flame Buster Cancel. My Flame Buster Cancel when I am grinding and trying to get between packs and things like that. So those are the two in Awakening. 
Additionally, what you can do is if you have your Black Spirit locked or it's not at 100%, uh, you can just use your forward F and your flow after that, which is another forward F. Um, basically, those are two abilities you can use to get around. However, I wouldn't totally recommend using them for grinding, as Shake Off is much faster to get between packs in general, since there is a bit of a wind-up animation for the skill, and a bit of a linger at the end of it before you can get into a normal damaging skill. Alright, so the last thing that we're going to talk about is our cannon spam. Now there's a couple different ways to cannon spam, and there's really only one right way to do it. So, right for this section, um, you're going to want to have your Flame Buster on hotkey, as did we did, needed in the last section as well. And here's what a lot of people do, and I've noticed newer Zerkers. They'll hold their right click, and they'll hit A or D to shake off between shots while constantly spamming their number one key. Now, this can be a problem because our Flame Buster really doesn't do a lot of damage, and our shake offs it causes a lot of stamina usage in between shots. So it might look like we're, you know, moving very effectively and everything's working very fluidly, but the amount of damage that we're putting out is really not there. In order to get better damage while you're doing it, you can see on the skill it says you either hit RMB to do it, so just like our normal shot like we've been doing, or you can hold LMB and RMB to sustain the charge. Now, even if we very, very modestly charge the bar, so the bar is going to appear right here, and then we shake off in between that, you're going to get much more damage and much uh, less stamina usage because you're doing less shots, so you're shaking off less, but you're going to overall do more damage. So you can see that bar, how it slightly charges up between my shots, and what I'm doing is I'm holding left and right click instead of holding just right click. This does significantly more damage, and you're going to be able to use less stamina since the shots are slower. Now that's really it in terms of spamming your cannon um, without a, a Q buff. There's a second cancel that you can do, which is Shift D. So instead of right click and either A or D, you can just hit Shift A or Shift D to do that evasion skill that we spec'd into earlier in the video. And that's what this is what that would look like. So you move slightly less and you shoot slightly faster, but it uses slightly more stamina. So you can either cancel it like this or like this. Either one of them is totally appropriate. Um, given the scenario, like you might want to use one over another. So if you're standing on a very small platform, you might want to use Shift D because it won't move you as far. But if you're in an open field and you want to say kite backwards or kite to the side, you'd want to use Shake Off because it moves at a much further pace. Now, the last thing is our Q buff. There's no difference. It's the same thing as we've been doing, holding left, right click, spamming our one key to shoot and either using uh, A to shake off or using Shift A or Shift D to do evasion. Now, as a Q buff, what this does for us is we do not have to charge our abilities. So that bar you see charging below here, when I'm charging this cannon, you see right there how the bar is charging up. We no longer need to charge those bars. So the cannons will be at full potential when our Q buff is up after every single shot. So that's what this this is what that is gonna look like. So the explosions are gonna be much bigger, but the method is the same. We're either gonna hit A to shake off between, or we're gonna hit Shift A and Shift D to shake off between. Either one of them is fine. Shift A is going to be much quicker of a cancel, but it's gonna use more stamina and right click A to shake off is going to use less stamina, but it's gonna move you around much more and the, the shots are gonna be slightly slow. Last thing I wanna talk about is, this is gonna be more so for node wars and as well as siege, perhaps you're sieging a castle or you're fighting somebody that's up high on walls. So typically when people have an elevation advantage, 
it's very difficult to be able to look up that high because you're looking at the ground and perhaps you're not at the best angle in the world. Well, one thing you can do is, if you notice that behind my name right here, see how I have a reticle? And when you target a player, it becomes red, right? So this is a very obvious thing, everybody knows about this. What you can do is, you can get a more favorable elevation advantage even when you're on the ground by simply holding your up arrow and moving your camera. So you notice my reticle is going up with the camera as well and the shot is going to go right where this is. So when I'm trying to shoot something way up high, not only can I see better, but I have a better angle because comparatively it would have been way down here and you can see that my shot would be at a, a much sharper angle instead of being a much more gradual angle that is going to be able to hit a player from that high much easier. So when someone is way high up on a wall, a siege wall, or, a mount, or on a you know mountain if you're fighting in open world, or node wars, or perhaps you are fighting in siege, you can move your camera up and it's going to give you a huge advantage to be able to hit those really high up targets. That's basically the last thing. The technique for shooting the cannon doesn't change, it's just the angle that is beneficial. Alright, so that is about it, you guys. Um, that's the pre-awakened combo. We learned about doing this, we learned about possible shake-off at the end, using our lava piercer between. We learned about the two ways to cancel our awakening, both this way and the other way. And then how to properly use the flame buster and making sure that we're holding our left and right click between each shot or you know basically permanently while we're shooting instead of just tapping the one key and holding down just the right even though this may be faster it just blows your stamina it's just not as much damage yeah guys that's about it hopefully you found this helpful i had a lot of questions in my stream about this and i finally wanted to make a video about it so you guys found this helpful, let me know. I want to be making more quick tips like this for newer berserkers and even veteran berserkers.